Today we're taking a look at this massive picture frame. Or actually, is it a TV? Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the massive 85 inch frame TV, which we have here on display. It's breathtaking. I mean, everything from design to some of the new features, we're gonna talk about it all in the video here. But first, let's just kind of talk about the outside while we're out here. So as many of you guys know, the frame TV was actually created to be an art style TV. And uh, you can actually choose what kind of art you wanna display as to where some of the other TVs in the Samsung lineup, you can't because it's not art. Um, but yeah, so like this one right here, this one looks amazing. And we actually have really bright TV shining on it. And as you can see, the viewing angle is great and the glare is great. And that's because of that matte screen, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. Now, because it is an art TV, one of the things that is expected, and obviously we see here, is that we don't have any Samsung logo or anything that kind of pops out. It's a nice, smooth, clean frame. You would not even know it's a TV if someone didn't tell you, and that's why this TV is so cool. And also, one thing to mention is that with the new frame TV, you get a white remote, right? And it's a solar QLED remote, um, so it's, it's gonna be a little bit more distinguishable from your regular remote if you have other Samsung TVs. And uh, I just like the touch white remotes. I, I think are pretty cool and there's not a lot of them. Now let's get into a little bit more about the details of this specific model. Now, as we know, the Frame TV is a QLED panel, so it's gonna have all those bright colors. We're talking about 100% color volume. And really, the only difference here is going to be that matte screen. So with the 2022 model, they actually decided to change the screen to a matte color, which would hopefully help the glare and just make it look more like a picture. And quite frankly, it does exactly that and very well. It doesn't affect the viewing angle like you would expect, and it really just looks more like a picture. And I know what you're thinking, picture quality too. No, it's not gonna be affected. This thing looks amazing no matter what you're watching or playing games on. It's just like a normal QLED TV. Now this TV is gonna come in a variety of sizes, starting at 32 inches for the very, very small projects. They have a 43, 50 inch, 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch, and rounding off the 85 inches, the largest version, which it's just, it's huge. You wouldn't believe it until you see it. So if you're here in Arizona, here in Tempe, you should definitely swing by our store and come check it out because we do have it on display and it just looks amazing. And honestly, on a side note, these TVs are priced pretty well for what they are. I mean, you'd expect them to be extremely overpriced because it is an art style TV, but they become so popular and Samsung has really done a great job of keeping the price down. Now, one thing that I do really, really enjoy about Samsung's frame TVs is that they actually do come with a wall mount. And this is a specific slim style frame TV wall mount. You're gonna wanna use this one because it's gonna make it look the best as a picture frame, which is the point you're buying it. It does have Versa mount, so you could mount it to a full motion or a different type of mount if you'd like. But really, once you put it on the wall, you don't have to touch anything. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. So one of the cool features in the frame TV specifically is that it does have motion sensing, so it can track whether you're in the room or not. It's not a camera, don't worry, it's not watching you. Um, but it will know kind of where you are in the room and if you go to bed, it'll turn off so that it's saving power and it's just, it's a really cool feature. You can also toggle this kind of stuff off so if you don't want it, it you don't have to have it. But I do recommend using it. Some of the people that I know personally that have this frame say that it's not annoying at all and it's pretty good at knowing when you're in the room and not in the room. Now let's talk gaming. It does have a 120 hertz refresh rate, so it's gonna be ready for those next gen consoles. Is this the best gaming TV? No, but you know, it is a QLED level TV and it's gonna look great. So, I mean, most of the time, if you're gonna buy a TV like this, you're not gonna buy it specifically for gaming. You're buying it because it looks super cool on the wall. So I have that as more of a priority, but it does do pretty well in the gaming aspect. So I wouldn't be too, too worried about that. Now this massive TV does weigh 98 pounds. We were talking about wall mounting earlier. Definitely recommend hiring professionals to do it because you don't want to break your brand new 85 inch frame. It's just not worth having that stress. You might as well just let somebody else do it. And uh, we do custom installation. So if you're here in the Valley, make sure to give us a call so you can set that up. Now, if you're gonna take the risk of installing it on your own, I really, really do recommend having at least two people to get it up on the wall. And I would just really make sure that your measurements are right because you do have to be exact. And like I said, 
hire professionals if you can because it'll make your life so much easier, but it looks so great on the wall. Now, when it comes to wire management, this is going to have the one connect box and a one connect cable. So once you get it mounted on the wall, plugged in, drop that cable through the wall, you don't have to worry about everything because you can hide it in the one connect box, which will go in your entertainment center. The one connect box is going to have four HDMI ports and two USB ports along with your ethernet optical, all that fun stuff. So it's just like the back of a normal TV all in one box. So that way the TV can be thin and it just makes it easy to use. Speaking of cables, if you're going to be hooking up external devices like an Xbox, PlayStation, maybe Blu-ray player, who knows what you're plugging in. I'd recommend looking at some higher quality cables because they do make a difference. And if you haven't already seen our most recent audio quest video, I definitely give that a watch. Now, I did forget to mention that you can actually buy removable frames and different color borders for your TV. So if the black TV frame is not what you're looking for, maybe you want a white or something like a beige, uh, the 85 inch model does have four different colors. There'll be a link down in the description to Samsung's website where you can check out what colors come in what sizes. It's a little confusing to try to tell you all, so it's easier to just look on their website. Link will be down in the description. Now, if you made it this far in the video and you're thinking about picking one of these bad boys up, maybe not the 85 inch, but maybe another size, please visit our website. And if you guys do pick one up, let us know. We'd love to know that we can help you out. With all that being said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. That's going to be all for this one. And if you guys haven't already, check out some of our other cool videos on products like these. If you guys are interested in getting the best deal on this product, email YouTube at Waltz. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos or deals.